Can you tell us how it all started? It all started when I went to the village on holidays. The Alpha is the friends out there, to my lovely ones, brothers out there. It's the fact that stop smoking. Smoking is dangerous to your health. Stop smoking. I prayed the role of William's sister. I was his kid sister. It wasn't easy. Like seeing young guys taking drugs, smoking. I would like to say it's not good. Drugs is not good for us young people. We know we are the future leaders of tomorrow. We don't have to consume drugs. We have to instead work hard and be great leaders of tomorrow in order to be able to build a strong nation. I must say this movie is a very good and educative movie for the youths out there. Youths, I will say stop taking drugs. It's not good for your health. As we see, um, the cousin to who, to, who was taking drugs, he died, finally died. So I will say, youths, please stop, go to school, learn, and become the future leaders of tomorrow. Sing. Seven. Take one. It's a project we've been nursing for over six months or better still more. Um, we started with the documentary. The main idea is to educate the public, to give a different perspective in relation to drugs amongst humans. Hi Young and Addicted is a, it's a societal film. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a documentary film at the same time because it educates uh, young people in, their, in, in, in the way they live their life in the society, uh, interests and influences of uh, uh, attitudes and habits that transform people from becoming what they need to be. So it somehow changes people's pers uh, uh, reasoning. I was the first cousin. I taught him how to, I yield him into to our smoking something or something like that. So um, I want to say that the crew, I really thank the crew because they did a very wonderful job. They gave us every attention and they made us to flow. Believe me, this is a project you want even your closest neighbor to watch because it's educating and uh, it's going to save so many lives. I want you to anticipate. We took this movie not for ourselves, the actors, but to, to educate young people out there that are going out of hand because of the thing we call drugs. Many youths have engaged into this activity to take drugs. Drugs is not good at all. Since 17A, take one. Action! Five seconds before action. Today they talk about educating children about sex education. <laughs> but I would like to add that besides sex education, Education concerning drugs addiction is something to start from educating our children from the young age. Because I bet you, most of our schools, drugs, drug addiction is free. You may think that your child is going to one of the best schools in the town or in the world, but I bet you that's one of the areas that things like that start. So my advice to parents is just to be very careful with your children, monitor your children, advise them, and educate them. Young, high, and addicted. It's something I really advise the youth to watch and promote because it's really a message that we need to pass out. And uh, like my experience on stage, it's my first time on set, and I will say I had a lot of challenges, but at the end of the day, we had fun shooting. It's a really good project. Um, there are a lot of things that people can learn from the project because we're talking about drugs. And drugs nowadays is, is a common thing among youths. It's very common among youths. A lot of them take drugs and they're being convinced to get into drugs. But when I saw the storyline, it was quite impressive because you have this young guy that has been introduced to drugs by friends and basically 
he gets into drugs and for him to get out of it is not easy and a lot of people turn to experience that in their lives. My advice to the youth is that do not take it, don't touch drugs. Drug is something that is so addictive that when you get into it, to get out is another thing, it's a whole other world. So getting into it is no-go area because getting out of it is very difficult. I so much uh, love uh, uh, this particular project because it's a cry. It's like uh, a solution to a cry to the society. You know, we have so many young youths who go mad nowadays. They go astray. They sleep on their destiny because of the fact that they consume drugs, like they abuse drugs. This was quite a great project and it was a first in a lot to come. I want to thank you for giving us this opportunity to bring you guys something this good. And it's a message to all the youths out there because so, much, so many youths out there are now plagued with the aspect of drug consumption. So many do take it to pass away their problems, but that isn't the right step. So I'd like to give you guys an advice that you should look for other solutions to your problems and do not rely on drugs. Because these drugs are being made for purposes and if they are not prescribed to you, then do not go there. Now, looking at William, because William was a nice person, but at one point in time, the story tells us how William was transformed from a non-drug addict to a drug addict. And the story is a story that tells us, it gives us the real life society of our young uh, youths today, of our youths today who go around having been influenced with, <clears throat> with a, 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 a drug and the interest of drug and uh, the bad ills of drugs. So this movie tells you, educates you on the ills of drugs and that some of us are still into drug but we cannot have, we do not have that power at one point in time to cut out of it. Drug will destroy you, drug will, will short, shorten your lifespan, drug will make you sleep on your destiny, drug will make you go nowhere, drug will make your family members, your parents sees you as a loser, sees you as a failure. So. If we are coming into this light, is to make the youth to come to understand that taking drugs will help them in no way. Can you tell us how it all started? It all started when I went to the village on holidays. Mommy! Mommy, come and see! What's wrong, my daughter? Why is she happy? I can't watch really any day, isn't it? Tell me, how has that affected your performance in your academics and your brutal relationship with people? Um, I was hardly in school. I was always out with friends, gambling. You need to feel the heat today inside me now. The boy, you know, spoil all things for me. Life has given me a second chance. And I have no intention of playing with it. 